This little guy here is the Cavex LP64 tripod leveler, which costs $31, and I recommend it for use with the Sea Star tripod and uh, main astrophotography telescope unit here. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to adjust the level as opposed to twisting and loosening a leg and then you know, moving up and down and then tightening it back up again. It's optional, but it certainly makes your life easier. Instead of having to loosen, adjust, tighten each leg to do things, you can just dial these guys to move the thing around. And I've been able to get tenth of a degree or even sometimes zero degrees on the leveling indicator on the app with this pretty easily. Comes with a little carrying case. And this is the unit. And you can see it has three different adjustments here. So you can tilt these three things up and down. It's plus or minus five degrees of leveling accuracy. You screw it onto a 3 8 inch tripod and then you screw something onto it. So this is the LP64 by Cavex. So it has three of these axes. Each axis can be adjusted independently. The small knob on the top is a locking knob. The big knob is what will move things in and out. So here I'm turning it and you can see it's pulling this in so it's tilting it towards this axis. When you have it to the position you want it, you can take the small knob, tighten that against the top and that will lock it in position. So when this is mounted underneath the Sea Star S50 telescope, um, you will not be able to see the bubble level on the top of this. You can look under and see the levels on the side, but you don't really need to because this guy has an electronic level in it, and it, the user interface on the tablet or phone will show you when it's not in level. Now it is possible to level the tripod by using these adjusters to vary the lengths of the legs, this guy just gives you a little bit easier control um, because you just move it up and down and you don't have to loosen, move, and then tighten. Alright, so I have deliberately set one of the legs on this tripod out of level. And so if you look at the app, it will say, device not level, go adjust. And when you click on that, device not level, go adjust, it gives you this little visual indicator with the two circles. And my device is currently 2.7, 2.6 degrees out of level, so not too far, but we're going to be moving these around. You can see I'm going in this direction, it's getting farther, so that's the wrong way to go. So let's try one of these other knobs. Um, so we're going to move this knob. And you can see it's getting better, then it moved off a little bit, so we're going to move over to this knob. And you can see I'm continuing to get better, so I'm going to keep going and adjusting these two knobs until I have something I'm happy with. Now anything less than two degrees is pretty good. Um, you know, so a tenth of a degree is, is pretty darn good here. I don't even know if it'll ever say zero. Okay, so I, well, I briefly had a zero degree there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock these things in right now. So I'm going to take these small knobs and lock the small knobs in place. I don't really think it's necessary to lock the small knobs in place for this particular telescope. It's pretty lightweight. You can see as I'm moving it around, I've actually gone off a little bit. All right, I locked all those knobs in place. I'm at a tenth of a degree off, which is plenty good. I can try adjusting a little more to see if I can get it exactly right, but I think at this point, anything I do is basically just getting it farther away from my tenth of a degree. Alright, so there I am, somewhere between a zero and a tenth of a degree off. Um, that's how you would adjust it with this guy. So this adds a little bit of weight and bulk to the rest of your package here. Um, if you screw these all the way down, making this as short as possible, it is possible to fit it in here with your solar filter and USB cable and that thing, the bolt fits between these two legs. So it is possible to pack that along with the other accessories. Um, I'm leaving my manual out. 
to get a little extra space here. So it, it can fit in the C-Star package, but it's a tight fit. 